This is Emma Stone, an Oscar-winning actor who's consistently delivered standout performances in projects like La La Land, Birdman, The Favorite, and she was brought back to life by an eccentric scientist in Poor Things. Hello, Bella. Oh. Emma's first foray into Hollywood was auditioning for a VH1 reality show that was casting a reboot of The Partridge Family. She eventually played an abuse victim in Medium, she voiced an upper-class dog in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and in Malcolm in the Middle, Malcolm's mom exacts revenge on her bully character by dismembering all of her prized dolls. No! <laughs> this mixture of drama and comedy, combined with experience in improv theater, certainly helped when she played Jules, the cool girl next door in Superbad. Come on, you didn't blow it. I think maybe... What the f She continued with comedy in projects like Zombieland. Ah! She played the 80s-tastic Alison Vandermeersch in Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Really? You can outrun a ghost? And she turned public shaming on its head in her breakout performance as Olive in a modern interpretation of the Scarlet Letter, Easy A. That was a rhetorical question. I don't want to know anything from you. But the second half of Emma's career has been full of dramatic fare. As aspiring journalist Skeeter Falan in The Help, she documented the experiences of African-American maids in the Deep South. Well, you care, Minnie. Maybe you just want to get Abilene in trouble. No. I want to show her perspective so people might understand what it's like from your side. She brought to life Marvel's iconic Gwen Stacy in the Amazing Spider-Man films, and she got her first Oscar nomination for her powerful performance as a recovering drug addict with a rocky relationship with her father in Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. You're doing this because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. And you know what? You're right. You don't. Then, after winning an Oscar for playing an aspiring actor in La La Land... Maybe I'm one of those people that has always wanted to do it, but it's like a pipe dream for me, you know? And then you you set it, you, you change your dreams, and then you grow up. And garnering yet another Oscar nomination for The Favorite, Emma went full-blown Disney villain to tell the origin story of Cruella de Vil in Cruella. Madam, are you celebrating? Oh, indeed I am. Her larger-than-life performances, to her deeply empathetic, relatable characters, Emma Stone is fearless and willing to go the distance to make sure she brings as much truth as possible to her work.